got exposed in a Snapchat conversation. Somebody in the team must have, in the team of girls, must have exposed, and now it's gone completely viral everywhere on Twitter and has started major debates and conversations. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, click that button, guys, for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Patreon, merch, everything in the bio below. And let's just get into this because, yeah, I don't know, like, this is just random, man, but this is just, yeah, I'm not, I don't even know what to say, guys, because this is just a mess. So this is what these guys are saying. Daniela, Courtney, Zara, Cara, Abigail, um, yeah, Dina, I feel like these are just the names of these white girls. Um, they say, I'll F with a black guy, even date for a bit, but I'll never marry. Oh my God, same, I don't see the appeal, someone says. Um, a black guys will do anything to be with a white girl, it's kind of pathetic. You don't understand, then explain. They don't have any appeal, in fact, they're latest they are latest good looking or the lastest i don't know what that i don't know what last is i don't know what they mean by that i don't mind ask, ask a white guy to come over at 3 a.m and he'll say no but ask a black guy to come over and he'll be there in a heartbeat black men will go above and beyond to please you because being with a white woman to them is a dream come true so basically they are easy but to the black boy i want to p-e-e -E in his mouth he will let me no way with a white guy black guys have low self-esteem and love us isn't that using them? It's like using them like m puppets. And of course, this has obviously gone viral where they're just obviously being derogatory towards black men. They're degrading them and kind of using them in such a, you know, way of fetishization that we're seeing here. And it's just, they're obviously now all livid. It's funny because they, all of these girls have different responses now after being exposed. Some of them were saying, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry for everything. Listen, I've been going to the BLM protests. Don't worry. Like, someone said that they have a colorful set of friends, like we're all crayons. So at this point of time, I don't understand what that apology was about. Another girl was saying that, you know what? I don't really care. So it's funny because they all had different types of apologies and reactions. Some just did not care. Some was like, is what it is, fam, and what? What's next? Whereas other people were coming up with these fake apologies saying that because they've gone to uh, a BLM, this time they've posted one black square and suddenly they're now saying that they're exempt from everything of critique. So I don't know what you guys want to make with this, but I thought let me bring this to the platform conversation in the comments. I'm intrigued to know what you guys think about this. If you guys have heard of this or if you guys haven't heard of this, but it has just gone viral everywhere. Like I'm seeing it on my Twitter, like over 50,000, 100,000 tweets, likes, and people are all discussing it all over the platform. And it's just become this kind of conversation. What are your thoughts, guys? I feel like these these girls kind of got exposed for their derogatory and their racism and, you know, how bad they were being. But a lot of people are agreeing, so I don't even know. It's just a conversation. I don't know. It's, it's just messed up. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Comment down below, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.